Oh yeah, you know what day it is again. What day is it? Next day Friday. Watch out. <laughs> oh man, it's been a hell of a week. I'm telling you, still sick as crap, man. Went to two different doctors now. They said I had bronchitis. Man, I'd ready to get this up out of me. I can't hardly taste any vape at all, any flavor. So, <laughs> and I looked up, looking for me like some menthol or something, you know. I got culotta, but it just wasn't working, you know. So I ended up having to go to the vape shop and get me a menthol vape, just straight menthol. And I mixed it in with some of my, uh, my hippies watermelon patch. I can taste a little bit of that. So, <laughs> thanks for everybody wishing me well. Hoping I get better. Today, uh, I got a special request from a friend of mine on Hippie Vapes Group in Facebook, uh, Ray Saul. Uh, he asked me to do a, a creamy vape, you know, something creamy. But he, he wanted to know a, what's a good cream base. You know, what you should start with. Because, I mean, there's so many different creams out there. I'm serious. There's so many. I, you, it it takes me so long to name them all. I mean, there's so many from different companies and everything. So, I mean, that's where it comes into your hands. Okay. What flavor you like. Do you want it milky tasting or do you want it fluffy, airy, uh, light, you know, uh, how rich do you want it? But see, if you start going there, then you'll start going into your custards. So you got to think and test, taste test your flavorings to know what flavor you're actually going for. You know, like let's say you're in a vape shop. And you taste something that you really like, but you're not sure if it's a cream or if it's a custard. Well, it is kind of confusing to a lot of new mixers, okay? Because I'm telling you, it's it's overwhelming, really, when it comes to creamy vapes or, you know, ice creams or milk, you know. All right. To start with, like I said, there's so many, but... I'm just gonna, like whenever you, if you go and watch another person's video, uh, they'll talk about maybe two, three, four different creams, you know, and they'll talk about what each one tastes like. Well, that's still kind of confusing, you know. So I'm gonna make it a little easier for you on how I do this video on creams. I'm gonna show you like a couple different pairings of different flavorings that you could mix together and come out with a certain type of flavor, okay? By my taste buds, well, of course, I can't taste nothing right now, but you know what I'm saying. All right, now, this is a cream that you definitely need in your arsenal of flavorings, okay? I mean, there's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. You've got to have it. <laughs> I'm serious. That's Bavarian cream from the Flavor Apprentice. Bavarian cream, okay? That's a must. Bavarian cream is like one of those flavors that's kind of like a bridge, like dragon fruit, and a couple. Of, there's a couple of other ones, you know, that are bridges that blend flavors together and marry them together so there's not that much of a spike difference, you know, in the flavor, okay? It kind of smooths and mellows everything out at a lower percentage, okay? Bavarian cream at a higher percentage almost has like a caramelly, milky tone to it, real milky. It's got a milk tone to it. Okay. That's Bavarian cream. That's a good one to ha always have. Alright. Another good one that you definitely need in your arsenal if you're going for like a milk. Like blueberries and milk or strawberries and milk or any kind of milk. 
you need sweet cream from the Flavor Apprentice. Now there's some other flavoring companies out there. All because I'm showing you TFA is because I'm gonna be honest, it's the cheapest doggone flavor out there. TFA is. Okay? They're cheaper than all of them. Well, Flavor West is pretty cheap too. They're about the same price. You know, Bull City Flavors, I'm telling you, you find everything there. Real cheap. You know, Flavora's got one of the best tasting flavor line out there, if you ask me. But I just can't afford seven, five to seven dollars for a 10 mil bottle of concentrate. Even though you're using a lesser percentage because it's very potent, you know, I can't afford that. So that's why you see me with a lot of Flavor Apprentice, Flavor Art, Flavor West, Capella, you know, all the other ones. Flavor is just, just too richy for me. And I can get the same flavor, pretty close to it. Or something I like. Another one that you can get. Now, sweet cream. Well, let me talk about this. Sweet cream by Flavor Apprentice. Use this at a real low percent. I'm talking like 0.5%. Okay? Because this stuff is really strong if you add, like, let's say you put 3% of this with like 7% uh, of strawberry ripe. You got strawberry milk right there. Boom. If you want to get it in more depth, add a little Bavarian cream to it. Oh, man. Then it, it carries it to a whole nother level. Put like about a percent of Bavarian cream in there, and it's like a whole new different vape. It, it changes it that much, you know? All right. Now, if you want like a... Uh, now, the... Sweet cream. Oh, you need vanilla bean ice cream. Now, this is another good one that you need to have for creams, that is, for your cream bases. All right. Capella vanilla bean ice cream is a really, really good one as well. Okay. Uh, it's self-preference, you know, which one you use. I've used them both all the time. I just mainly just stick with TFA, vanilla bean ice cream. At a lower percentage, like around anywhere from a half a percent to, let's say, one and a half, no more than two percent, you're going to get more of a cream, a milky cream, more smoother, you know, like almond milk kind of without the almond. You know, you see what I'm talking about? It's like a, a richer, creamer, creamier flavor, okay? At a higher percentage, you it, it you got to watch out. Don't go over 5%, 6% on this because it'll start tasting kind of funny, all right? So, that's vanilla bean ice cream, all right? Now, you mix vanilla bean ice cream, like about, let's say, throw 1%, one percent, one and a half percent, half a percent of sweet cream, and one percent of Bavarian cream. These three together, you can add any kind of fruit, berry, whatever you want to with it, and you got a fruit or berry and cream right there. That You know? Any berry will go with those three right there. Vanilla bean ice cream, sweet cream, and you don't even, you can leave the Bavarian cream out. You don't need it, but it helps round and smooth everything out, blend it together. All right. Another way you can get like a milk flavor, okay, would be fresh cream from Flavor Art and Vienna cream from Flavor Art. Now, these two right here, if you pair these two together, it gets interesting because it's like a more airier, lighter, not quite as thick as the other one I just showed you. This is like a lighter, more fluffier, you know. Uh, your Vienna cream is the sweetness and the fresh cream is the milkness, okay. 
Does that make sense? Sweet cream? Okay. All right. If you add meringue from Flavor Art, it'll give it that fluff and a little bit richer and more depth to it. Okay. Now, these three mixed together, like let's say you take uh, fresh cr uh, Vienna cream at like about 2%. Two and a half percent, maybe, and fresh cream at like one, two percent, you know, about the same. And then you add one percent of meringue in there, you got any fruit or berry you can mix with that. And there's you another kind of milky, creamy vape. Okay, all right, now we're gonna step a little deeper. Okay. <laughs> Okay, these really are more of uh, custards than I would say creams. Well, except for French vanilla cream, which you I hardly ever see this in any recipes online, and it's actually a pretty good flavor. It reminds me of like a, a butterscotch or, or dolce de leche with caramel in it. That's what this one reminds me of, French vanilla cream. Okay, it's got a little milky tone to it. Uh, vanilla, of course, but the vanilla isn't that strong. It's a mild vanilla, so it takes a little bit on that flavoring right there to taste it. Okay, it's more of one of those back notes that you put in the back, you know, to after you exhale, you know, you, you start to taste in the rich creaminess, and that's what that is, okay? Like, uh, if you've got your milky tones and all that, and you want it to add that little extra depth in there, add you a little uh, vanilla bean gelato or vanilla swirl, you know? You notice these are vanillas, but see, that's where, you, you know, Vanilla swirl is like a custard with no egg. Okay, it's a lighter custard is vanilla swirl. But see, I, I got to stay off of that because custard is a whole nother realm of videos. Okay, because there's so many of them. So I'm just going to stick with these today, these six right there. Okay, now those pairings, you know, like I said, you can mix them with pretty much anything and you you're the one who has to make the right percent okay so when you go to ELR like the video the last video I put out was how to use the ELR whenever you look at each individual flavor it tells you the median you know in a single flavor or in a recipe okay so you click on it and look at the average some of them, since I've taste tested them myself, I know a lot of them should be lower than what they actually say. So, you know, ELR, play around with it. Taste test your flavors. A lot of these, I've been going down instead of putting 5% in my testers, I've been dropped, I dropped it down to 3% on even the Flavor Apprentice now. And I'm telling you, I'm actually still at 3% testing is even good. I'd start out 3%. Then you know you can either add some or subtract some. All right, today, since my friend, he wanted a, a, a creamy vape, I figured I'd do a strawberry raspberry. Let's, let's do a strawberry raspberry. Uh, but I'm going to put some a twist on this one. I'm going to use uh, strawberry and raspberry. Let's let's drop down. Let's let's look and see what we're messing with here. Because we're going to make this on the fly. Okay? <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We got a rap barrel raspberry from Flavor Art. Okay? We're going to use it. Uh, let me get me a bottle. Yeah, that'll work. Let me get me a bottle. Hey, y'all remember uh, Fresh O3, okay, join his, uh, his, subscribe to him, he's an 
awesome mixer, him and Addie Tooney and all the fellas. You know, Ren Vapes, great mixers. Uh, Saturday with Fresh 03, check him out. Good all-around fella. And he'll help you out too. He's got a lot of good recipes. All right. Raspberry. We're going to put 2% raspberry. Because on ELR, it told me about 2-3% of this for uh, in a mix. Okay, so I'm going to put 2%, so that would be 0.21. And I'm sick. All right, there's raspberry. All right, tear that out. Next up, we're going to use strawberry ripe or ripe strawberry from the flavor apprentice now this one you know it's gonna be a tart cream so it's gonna be interesting to see these two flavors play around with each other after it steeps for a little while okay now strawberry ripe for some reason after about it's real tart and bright when you first mix it up I mean beautiful flavor but at three weeks, a month after it's steeping, it kind of loses its, uh, that tart edge from it. You know, it loses it. So that raspberry is going to actually lift this up. Now, strawberry ripe, we're going to use it at like 4%. Let's see what that'll do. Yeah. 4%. So that'd be 0.42. Four, six, oh, a little bit over, but that's okay. All right, let's tear that out. All right, let me think here. Let's see. I want like the milky cream, like an oh, you know. So let me put vanilla bean ice cream in there. Let's see what that'll do. Yeah, some vanilla bean ice cream from the Flavor Apprentice at one and a half percent, because I don't want it to taste like an actual ice cream you know I want it more of the milk you know note is what I'm wanting well, it, well no, I, I, I don't know let's, see. let's do the cream vanilla bean ice cream at one half percent that'd be a point one six See, this is the fun of mixing yourself, you know? You get to choose what flavors you want to put in there. Change your mind. <laughs> do what you do want to do, you know? All right, one and a half percent vanilla bean ice cream. All right, let's see here. What else did we have over here? Let's see, we had uh, sweet cream from the Flavor Apprentice. I'm definitely going to put this in because I want that milk note. Uh, half a percent, that's it. I don't want much. I just want to make it a little thicker, you know, more mouthfeel to it. So half a percent would be 0 0.05. So that's only going to be like three or four drops. in a ten, I'm doing a 10 mil bottle. All right, there's sweet cream. Now that's four flavors so far. Okay. Now, remember I said this month I was going to do simple, easy recipes and use five flavors or less. Here we go. I'm going to put meringue in there. That's what I'm going to do. It's a flavor art meringue. This will give it that fluff and more mouthfeel, a little airiness to it, too. We're using this just 1%. That's it. Now, we just want it in the back. Just to calm them berries down a little bit. Come on, scale. I'm going to end up having to spend $25 for me another a good scale this time. I found a good one. 1% 1 that'd be 0.11. Oopsie, it's messing up. Again. There we go. One, one. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's see. PG, I'm doing an 80 20 because I'm vaping on that new XO by iJoy. Oh man, I done fell in all in love with that tank. That single coil on that sucker, that gone. 
All right, PG uh, 8, 80, 20, so I'll need 0.52 on PG. There we go. All right, tear that out. All right, now it's the nicotine. Shake that stuff up real good. All right, I'm only at one milligram nicotine. And this is 100% nicotine per milliliter in PG is what I use. Because I'm at such a low percentage, it doesn't take that much of this. See, if you used a lot of nicotine, if you're high up there, you would want it in vegetable glycerin. You know, because, anyway, point one To each his own preference, I should say. All right. And there's that. And then I just eyeball this because I already know about where it is. Give me a little shaking room in there. Put the cap on. Man, I hope I get better and quick. I got so much yard work to do. So much yard work to do. Got to get my garden planted. Got to cut the grass. Got to work on my flower beds. I just got dirt for. <laughs> Shake that sucker up. I'm just gonna call this one berry creamy. That's all. It's just. I'm just gonna call it berry creamy. That's it. <laughs> I can't. I probably won't be able to taste it anyway. I don't know. We fix it. Find out. If you can taste very creamy when you stick, all right. Let's see here. <laughs> well, if I can get it open, ah, right, let's put a little on here. Right there. Well, get on there. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. See, I can taste that meringue for sure. Now, mind you, I'm sick as a dog. <laughs> I mean, I am sick. I can't even taste the berries at all. I'm so sick I can't taste them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I actually have to leave this one steep for about a, I don't know, till I get better. And then I'll try it and let you know. But see, that's just experimenting, just playing around with different flavors. You know, have fun with it. You know, let me go back to my. Uh, my other menthol vape because <laughs> man that's a badass tank mm. Mm. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this one before very Fanta okay now this is also where I get inspiration <laughs> Okay, you look at the label on this one, all right, it pretty much almost tells you the flavorings that are in this soda, okay. That green leaf and that little plant that's up here, that's the stevia plant. So you know it's got sweetener sugars in it, okay. And then you got blueberries and red raspberries on here. So you know those two flavors are in this soda, and I, per I bet you I could probably make this with a uh, Blueberry West blueberry and uh, that raspberry with maybe some, uh, if you wanted to put sweetener in it, you know, knock yourself out because soda has got a lot of sweetener. Oh, and some champagne. Throw a little champagne in there to give it a little, 
Not much though on the champagne on that one because that would make it creamy. But I hope y'all like that. I hope I helped a, a little bit out. I mean, there's so much, so many creams. I mean, they're... I'm telling you, toasting marshmallow, marshmallows, cotton, you know, just so many. I, you, I can't name them all. <laughs> I tried. I'll try. I'll keep going, though. I mean, it, it, it's you just experiment and have fun with it and enjoy yourself, you know, and you'll be surprised what you come up with. Until then, y'all have a good one. Peace, love, and harmony. And one more thing, I'm going to pause for a little while on making videos. Uh, I got, as soon as I get over this cold, I got to get that garden planted. Okay, I'll post some pictures of the garden and hippie Facebook group, hippie Bates group. Uh, Y'all join me on there. It's a lot of fun. There's some good people up in there. Uh, but I'm going to chill out on I might not, if I come up with a recipe, before next Friday, I'll put it out there. But y'all put your videos out there. Put your uh, recipes out there on the page, whatever, you know. Share with the group. Let's all get together and have some fun. Until next time, y'all have a good one. And be on.